play is like, it's called the turnip, and it's a big turnip that grows on one brother's farm. The beauty of this program is that it's pieced together essentially by grade, but um, somebody has the final vision. And um, we all know only our minor points. Our mm -hmm. parts. All I know is I'm making a tournament and my daughter's a raven. Either way, are the turnips good? I, I don't like turnips. I don't think. I've never had a turnip. You're going to have to eat one now. Really? Well, the, the kids um, develop lyric ideas with Mr. Will, and then they give me a musical style that they want to work with. So then I give them some music and we flesh it out and uh, come together. Yeah. And I also I write the opening number and closing number before uh, rehearsal starts, so they've got something to start learning right away. And I tried to give them some movement with it, and then they get that down really quickly, and then we can build on top of it, and they can bring more to it. Like we just added all of this physical comedy that we put in. Be a lot louder. Which is great because they know their stuff really quickly. Yeah. And it's especially great because it's their own stuff. Their words, their lyrics. And they're helping out with the dance too, so it's really their own. The children get their theme. Mm -hmm. And then they draw in their mind what the backdrop should be. Then they get together in groups of four and do one composite. They all give it to me. And I go through it all and I pick a parts from each drawing and I come up with a backdrop. So all the kids, when they look at the backdrop, they can see certain features that they add with it. They create the whole thing themselves. So when we get here, we always have these uh, community build days. You know, we have two Saturdays at each school and the moms and dads come and they help us paint and they help us in this case, just uh, construct these modular platforms, put them together for use. Because I know this one, the more square one, is going to be like a bird's nest of some kind. We're not trying to create a professional set. We're trying to create something that kind of belongs to everybody who built it. My uh, son's Julian. He's the, um, I think he's the prince. My daughter's first time in the production. This is his third one. She's done it, I think, the last three or four years here. So this is uh, the first time? I, I happen to be a dad here. My daughter is, is in the play, but I also work for ETC. And I have a fourth grader who is a king. <laughs> she has a second grader. He is a king. Um, Noah's done the uh, ETC summer camp before, but it's his first time doing this summer camp. James was in it two years ago and loved it. But my daughter absolutely loves it. She comes home singing and dancing around the kitchen. And it's a lot of fun. It's letting the kids take um, ownership of it. It's a lot of fun. I'm always surprised to look up and see all the stuff getting done. I didn't do it. We're just so we lucky that it's here. Yeah, we're so we're lucky that it's here. Yeah, yeah, it's great for the kids. We just loves every minute of it. And he comes home so excited about it. We're very happy that this is at McKinley. For my daughter, this is her first time as a fifth grader, and she decided that she was going to participate this year no matter what, even if it meant she had to stay up until 10 o'clock at night getting her homework done, because she didn't want to miss this incredible opportunity to be part of a production that includes script writing, dancing, developing her own props and scenery. I mean, the kids are involved in every component of the production. It's such a rare opportunity. But these are the kind of things that will never be uh, measured by SOL. You know, I mean, they're learning Dickens. And yes. the show that my older daughter last year, they did Shakespeare. And you yeah. know, she can talk intelligently now about like yeah. four Shakespeare plays. Yeah. And that's crazy. I mean, this kind of experience is kind of growth. There are no factoids here. The kids are you know, just developing their creative capacity. It's just been a great, great pleasure to work with the children, the parents, and ETC.